up YouTube this is cooking with Doug and what you see here is my unboxing of my brand new Yeti 6.8 quart 1700 watt air fryer now I got this on Amazon guys it was $129 and they also gave me a $15 coupon well not just me specifically there's a $15 coupon available right now if you buy it right now so I don't know how long that's going to last, guys. Just giving you a little tour around the machine. Let's open it up. Now this basket is ceramic completely. So that's definitely cool, but we'll look at that a, a little later. Let's look inside how we normally do. So that was the bottom. And this is a tip, typical uh, of the top of an air fryer. You got your coil and you got your fan above it that blows the hot air down. This is something new on the back. You actually have this little piece here where you can wrap the uh, cord up for, for easy storage. That's pretty cool. And guys, you definitely get a longer cord than usual uh, on this air fryer, which I like. So that's definitely cool. Alright guys, let's check out this basket. So first of all, we can take that out. We'll look at that a little later. So this is what we're working with. The bottom. this in. It's like an instant vortex basically. Easy peasy right there. And remember this is all ceramic so that's good. You know I love ceramic so that's one of the things that caught my eye with this machine. I don't know if you guys noticed this but you notice with this particular air fryer it doesn't have this button here so you don't have to worry about detaching anything. So when you go into shake you have a firm handle and you can shake it in confidence without worrying about too much detaching. The only thing that detaches is this, and you have to pull it. It's pretty snug down in there, so that's cool. Let's see how easy this is to open and close. Oh, perfect. Easy peasy, guys. Little effort. The second thing that caught my eye is all the accessories that actually come included uh, with this machine. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. So you get these dehydrator racks, which are awesome. You get two of them, by the way. You get this grill rack with the skewers, which is awesome for your kebabs and stuff. You got your pizza rack. I mean, pizza pan, sorry. And then you get your, uh, they even give you parchment paper, which, which is weird. I'll take it. Nice. Got the holes in it. You got a divider. Look at that. We're still not done. So this is a cupcake slash egg little silicone thingy. This is cool. And most importantly, you get a recipe book with over 100 recipes to boot. Now for under 110 bucks, I'd say that's a lot of support. So let's thumb through this and see what we see. Got steak, we got turkey. Mashed pot what is this? Mashed potato cakes? Okay. Never heard of that. That sounds fun. You know, you got hot dogs, stuffed garlic mushrooms, beef ap uh, empanadas, peach hand pies. I mean, this it's just a hundred recipes, guys. So that's a lot of support right there. Mac and cheese. Awesome. Almost forgot guys, you got charts. Comes with charts, which is really cool. It's like a cheat sheet. So that's cool. So guys, you have plenty of support with this machine. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Well worth the money. And remember it's ceramic, so you know you got quality right there. 
And of course, you have a, a quick little manual, do's and don'ts and stuff like that. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and plug it in. I see a bunch of presets. Let's go over that real quick. Before I even do that, let's just do the basics. So we go up to 400 degrees. Do we go up to 60? Let's see, it should, but just making sure. Yep, and it stops at 60. Okay. All right, yep. Okay, stops pretty quick. Some some air fryers stop right away. Some take about 10 seconds. That took about five. That's cool. That's what it sounds like when it's done. All right. All right, guys, let's go over these presets real quick. So right here, we got fish. We got bake. We got chicken leg. We got fries. We got, what's the chicken? So this is like a... A whole chicken I guess maybe I'll look into that cuz well we'll get to that later steak we got shrimp and we got a dehydrator cool believe it or not guys that's the end of my unboxing so let's let's cook something cuz that's 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 what I like to do shout to Oli one time I got a 8.25 pound whole chicken that I'm going to attempt to put in this basket guys look at this big boy it's been marinating for about two hours so that that should be the, the minimum amount but you know of course overnight would be better but I just want I'm just excited to see if this can fit in the basket because the, remember this is a 6.8 quart so I think this is um, one of the biggest square baskets that I've used uh, for 2019 and 20, so we want to we want to test the limits here. And we're just having fun, so I just had fun with seasoning this, guys. So first, I put some avocado oil in my Evil Oil sprayer. Olive oil would be fine, of course. Then I rubbed in some smoked paprika. Regular paprika would be fine. And then this has been sitting in my cabinet for a minute now, and I want to try it. This Weber roasted garlic herb. Yeah, so I put that on there. Um, in the cavity, for fun, I put some liquid smoke. Um, oh, and I put some Italian seasoning in there. And I also threw in some of this as well. Just to have some fun with you guys. It should, it should taste fantastic. So, of course, we need to put it breast, down, uh, breast side down first. But guys, we're, we're on uh, uncharted territory right now. As you saw, this is an 8 pound whole chicken. I have never done over 6 pounds in a standalone basket air fryer before. So, and as you can see, I still have room. I could have maybe done 9 pounds. I, that would have been a little little snug. But yeah, you see it. Look at that. Eight pounds, y'all. All right, guys. You guys know I've done whole chickens a million times. So I know I usually do it for an hour, but this is about two pounds heavier. So I'm going to, I figure I'm going to go an extra 10 minutes. So I normally do 3.30 for an hour. So I'm going to do 3.30 for, well, first, I you know, I do 30 minutes and then, you know, it stops and then I flip it. So I'll do 35 minutes. Let's do that. 35 minutes. We'll do 35 and 35 and take it from there. All right. Let's see how quiet it sounds or loud it sounds. Remember, this is 1700 watts, y'all. And guys, if you have any type of air fryer and it's five quarts or above, and it's not 1700 watts then in 2020 we know better it's underpowered so don't ask me to review anything that is <laughs> under 1700 watts over five, five or over court because to me it's just underpowered 
Sounds pretty quiet, guys. Sounds pretty. It sounds quiet. And I am noticing that with these 2020 air fryers, they are pretty quiet. But of course, you know, as time goes by, you know, we get better and better with technology or whatever, more efficient. Because my um, what air fryer did I do before the uh, what was it called? Oh yeah, the Oster. Yeah, this is just as quiet as that. So that's cool. One thing I forgot to check, let's check it now. When I open it, what happens? It stops, okay. And then it continues back where we left off. Just wanted to make sure. All right guys, this is with 35 minutes, so I'm gonna flip it. Man, that's a big boy. We got it flipped, so let's put it back in. All right guys. I'm going to give you the total numbers. I think I, yeah, I did 45. I did a total of 90 minutes, actually. So, in the description, I'm just going to tell you to do 45 and 45 for an uh, 8 pound. In fact, let me get my meat thermometer to show you. Yeah, this, this took way, this took like 15, 20 minutes longer than I expected. So 162, 166, so you know we're done. 168. 169, 170, so you know we're done. So yeah, 90 minutes. Okay, so this doesn't apply to a 3 pound, 4 pound, 5 pound, 6 pound bird. But if you're doing an 8 pound whole chicken, after you flip it once, it's just best to use like a fork on each side. Because I bent my tongue, almost ruined it. This is just the easiest way to take it out. When it's this big. Ah, got it. So let me show you the drippings. Look at all that. Alright. So look at that. So we'll discard that. Now to keep it real guys. I do s sense a problem. Because uh, you see these vents on the side. If I pour it out, I was gonna. I normally pour it into a measuring cup and let it cool, and then discard it. You know, when it's cold, maybe even tomorrow or late, late, later on tonight. But these have these slits here, so if I pour it out, I might have to just pour it on a real good angle, because if it gets to these vents, it's gonna pour out the side. So, although it the vents are great for airflow. It kind of stinks when you're pouring out stuff. <laughs> All good though. Is it easy to clean, guys? Yep. Ceramic always makes things easy to clean. So I'm just going to put this in the uh, air fryer for three minutes at 400 and it'll dry it all out. Because we're not done. Three minutes later, all dry and ready to roll. You know, I always make a whole meal for you. So I got these petite potatoes from Aldi. As well as these sweet potatoes. So let's see what that works, how that works. Alright guys, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with you. That should be enough. I'm going to give you some rack action. And this is all from frozen guys, so I try to put all the uh, sweet potatoes under the regular uh, petite potatoes um, because I'm gonna ha because it's from frozen. I'm gonna have to cook the because I want to have the the petite potatoes, so I'm gonna have to cook them. I guess for I don't know six seven minutes, and then I'll take them out and have them, and then take them off the rack and combine it. So let's do that. And I'm just going to blast it at 400. I have to tell you, both of these potatoes, well, yeah, both of them right here, they are seasoned to perfection. I love them. I'm loving the season on both of them. And it doesn't take that long to, to cook. I've, I think I've done it for six minutes and they're almost done. So instead of 15 minutes, I would, I would do it no longer than 10 to 12 minutes. Look at all that juice, guys. Just look at it. All right, guys, we're going to have some fun. I just put my partition in and add some butter to the mix.
just for fun. I'll put it in for like another two minutes and then we'll make a plate. Make sure you hit the subscribe button y'all so you can be updated when my next video drops as well as my YouTube live kitchen gadget giveaway. Not bad y'all. Not bad. Alright guys, let's get cutting. Now this I let this sit out for like 20 minutes or so, so it's got enough time to sit out. Cut this off. Oh man, that looks so good. Look at all this meat. Now, for those of you, and Thanksgiving's coming up, guys, and you see me do a frozen, uh, what, boneless turkey, I mean, all turkeys can get dry, right? You can do an eight-pound whole chicken, maybe two of them for your, on your Thanksgiving table for a small crowd, and I, I'm, honestly, this would probably, I'm pretty sure on your plate, on your table, a whole chicken will be gone way before a turkey or even boneless turkey breast. I'm pretty sure. If you have a small crowd. Look at all that. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even over. I appreciate that. Alright guys, you saw the paper towel go up. So that means it's time to eat. Now this is just... I'm just playing around, guys, but I'm just trying to, you know, simulate a, a Thanksgiving plate or Christmas plate. Of course, if it was the holiday, I'd have some gravy going. But I just picked out what was in my freezer, and I just made a plate for you guys. So, anywho, let's get eating. First off, I love me some skin, so we're going to take a bite of the skin together. You got it? Mm. Mm. That's some crunchy. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's have some of this wing. You got it? Mm, mm, mm. Nothing but flavor. Nothing but flavor. You got it? Man, that's good, man. Now I want you to have some of these potatoes. I'm going to stock up on these potatoes, guys because they're from frozen so you can throw it in your deep freezer and keep it in for however long you need to and the seasoning for this is really good guys you first this is just perfect that's perfect right there man in fact I gotta do one with a potato you got it Guess no better than that, man. Okay. Have some sweet potato. These are good too, guys. Oh yeah. That could use a little bit more help with some maybe some syrup or whatever, but this is still good to boot right here. It's still good, but it could use a little help, but I don't need to add no more sweetness to it. I, I got enough as it is. Let's have some peas. I just threw these in the microwave, guys. I had a little bit in the pack, so I wanted to get rid of it. Mm. Good. Perfect, guys. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So many people would ask, should I get this air fryer? I say yes. It's a great upgrade. Well, first of all, it's a great price point. Like I said, at $129. And then right now, I don't know how long it's going to last. But when I paid for it the other day, I got a $15 coupon that was available 
upon um, purchasing it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. I don't know how long that $15 coupon will last. Maybe it'll go up to $20. Who knows? I don't know. So first of all, so you're getting a great price. Uh, so it'll be what? Under $110 or something like that. So a great price is 6.8 quart. So it's bigger than, let's say, it's bigger than my Kasori. It's bigger than um, most of my air fryers. It's deep. It's wide. It's 1700 watts, so you got you got the uh, coverage with the with the wattage right there. So definitely, it's ceramic. And then most of all, oh, you get the uh, 100 recipe uh, cookbook, and you get all those accessories. So this is a great upgrade, a fantastic gift to someone just starting air frying for the holidays, um, and an upgrade for you. I know there's a lot of air fryers that came out this year, but this is definitely I would put this I would put this in my top three for sure. Because it's deep, it's wide, you get all the accessories. Yeah. But anywho guys, if you have this air fryer or any air fryer. Consider joining my air fryer group on Facebook. It's called Air Frying with Doug. We have over 63,000 members in there. We'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer. Um, if you need some motivation, come in there and do a search and get recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up at Instagram Cooking with Doug, but that's all I got. So like if you like it, remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.